<sighs> That's me sneaking into my own house again. I actually pay the rent here. You couldn't tell by the way I'm sneaking into my own fucking house. This is what marriage looks like, family. Whether it's working or not. Now I'm down into my own hole. Keep out. Life sucks. Even my dogs tell me to leave. Well, let's get it started, family. Come in. You've got and I'll show you everything you need to know. How y'all doing? As you see, we're back. We're back in the basement, or, or, or at least next to it, doing another clay time um, from the basement. I want to thank everybody who who actually been watching. You know, I'm gonna do them every day. Every time I smoke, I'm gonna come out here right before I smoke and uh, just talk shit about whatever. But uh, I want to thank everybody who actually uh, watched. I want to thank everybody who talks shit <laughs> about me going sideways. Thank you for uh, <laughs> trying to correct me. I had somebody trying to correct me during. You know? Hey, John, what's going on? I see you there. Hey, I see you. Mocha. But uh, I want to thank you guys for, for making fun of me, telling me it's... Oh, thanks. Thanks for the like. Boo. Thank you for the like. Oh, I love you too. Boop. Oh, look at the heart. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, people were talking shit about me going sideways. <laughs> they, were, they were making fun of me at work. They were like, "Look, man, I can't, I can't be cracking my neck just to watch you smoke your cigar." So anyway, but thank you for uh, you know talking shit and whatever. I love it. It's all good. But uh, I, I just wanted to talk about some. Hey, what's up, Frank? What's going on, man? How you doing? Thanks for the love. Appreciate that. But uh, I just want to talk about something real quick. You know, it's so funny. I watch these videos and everybody thinks they're just so important. And that's the reason why I didn't put anyone out. Because, I mean, who the fuck am I? You know, that's what I think. Who the fuck am I? Now, if I'm, you know, Kevin Hart or... Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. If I'm Kevin Hart or if I'm anybody like that, then yeah, you want to see me. But who the, who the fuck is Clay Miles? Honestly. But I had enough people tell me I needed to do it. So, um, thank you. Thank you for hitting me up. Bam, bam. Like the lights. So, uh, that's why I'm doing it. And also, it's better than just talking to the dogs. You guys want to see the dogs? I got to. The dogs are famous. They're famous now. Everybody loves the dogs. I got to. Bam. Look at the, look at the baby. Look at it. Where's the other one? Izzy. Izzy, where are you at? Izzy. Izzy. Hold on, she's come around the corner. Look at look at look at look at my Yes, I love you too. I love you too. Yes, I do. <laughs> those are my dogs. That's my dog. So yeah, those are my dogs. And they're more popular than me. I went to Connecticut. I had people talking to me about my dogs. Oh, you weren't shit, Negro, but your dogs, that was hilarious. Oh, really? 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 Family. Family will fuck you in the back, no matter. <laughs> more than anybody else. Oh, what's up, man? Run. Beat me up, Scotty. I'm in a world of shit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's a, okay, I gotta tell, uh, let, me, let me tell that joke. The reason why he wrote that, if you're watching anyway. Uh, the reason why he wrote that is because when I was in the Marine Corps, one of my Marines got into trouble, okay? And I have my wallet out here, so this is a great thing. One of my Marines got into trouble, and um, everybody was upset at him. The Sergeant Major was screaming and yelling his ass off, and I'm in the office with him, and it's, it, was, it was just a bad time, and he was a great Marine, and we're all feeling bad about what he did to himself. I'm not gonna tell you what he did, but... So out of nowhere, he comes into a position of attention, and the sergeant major just starts yelling at him. He goes, you need, to, you need to be a man. Tell me. Tell me something. Open your mouth. Be a man. So all of a sudden, he opens his mouth, comes to, or excuse me, comes into a position of attention, pulls out his wallet, and says, beat me up, Scotty. I'm in a world of shit. <laughs> Everything went to shit. Everybody was, everybody was quiet. 
Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? The, sorry, the, the CEO tells him to leave the office. He leaves the office, and we all fall out. Now, he's yelling. Everybody's just just, just dying laughing. The sergeant major, the CEO's looking at me. Clay, Clay or Miles, what is up with your Marines? What is up with your Marines? So there's nothing I could do. So I said, uh, uh, now, Scotty, now, now. So that's where that comes from. But uh, thank you. Uh, where's he at? Oh, adorable. Oh, thank you, Marv. I appreciate that. Talk about my dogs. That's my dog. What's that? What, I don't even know what this is that you put down there, Mocha. Reggie Spears. Reggie, happy birthday, man, again. My, my brother coming out. I just, I wanted to talk about something that, that's close to my heart. As you can see, Reggie, I finally got it straightened. It says straightened, you know, you can see me correctly. But I want to talk about something I've been noticing. And, and I know people have been talking about this, but I want to talk about you people who... Who are Trump supporters? I'm not gonna talk about you. I, you can support who you want, whatever. What's up, Reggie? Yo, yo, yo! You Trump supporters, I'm gonna tell you something. It's good to you. I like the fact that you, number one, I love when people go and they make a decision and they okay, that's that's fine. All right, and I'm not gonna talk bad about your decision. But uh, anyone who does not like Trump, stop thinking that they're automatic liberals. Okay, just I hate that. Oh, I hate you, goddamn liberals. Trump has pissed everyone off. Doesn't make you a liberal. <coughs> oh, damn. Doesn't make you a liberal to not like Trump. Honestly, it makes you human. It makes you understand that there's other people on this planet besides yourself. If I don't talk shit about your choice, then don't don't label me. That's like that's like saying a racist, you know what I mean? A, a straight up racist. Um is okay, you know what I mean? Oh, he, he's, he's, he, he's okay because he's, he just doesn't like black people. I mean, come on, man. Really? What's this? Wedding rings. Oh, they were wedding rings. Okay. Wedding rings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, fam. So stop, stop fucking with people. If you're, if you're a Trump supporter, okay, I'm saying, Ashley Morgan. What's up? Seventh grade, most valuable athlete, shouldn't be smoking. <laughs> Let me explain to you something. I can't even get off and out of this chair quick anymore. I think I have I have surpassed I passed the time. I can eat what I want, I can be what I want. I don't have to worry about trying to be the most athletic. Those that's for my sons to do now. Oh, that's right. Reggie had his party. You're welcome, man. Thank you for having me. Reggie had his party. Um, last, uh, uh, this Saturday, it was amazing, he did an outstanding job, I was so proud of, of my brother, man, he, owning his own business, he had this huge, uh, blowout party, and it was amazing, the women were incredible, I was able to hang out with my old, my old boys, um, Delia, Delia was there, Ashley, making fun of me, <laughs> But Delia was there. She was she was one of the only uh, women from my from my you know my past when I was a little kid and everything. I was I was totally in love with this woman, you know what I mean? Oh, Delia was the shit. So you know she and she treated me like a little kid. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about. I actually wanted to uh, get that off my uh, chest because, like I said, man. It was, all I do every morning, man, I go into work, I turn on the TV, and Melinda, I see you there, You, uh, thank you for coming out, uh, she knows, we watch, We all we do is sit there in our desk and watch Fox, Not. No, we don't watch Fox News, I'm sorry, Fox News is the devil, it's the devil, no, <laughs> now, I'll tell you, let me tell you about Fox News, I like Fox News because it's entertaining, they come up with shit, you, if you like a, uh, cart, well, not, what it was, a comic book, it's like an adult comic book. It's amazing the stuff they come up with. The leaps that they make is amazing. Literally, what they say, Hillary is sick. Did you see this? They're going around saying Hillary Clinton is, is she might be, she might be sick. Where the fuck did they get that? Yes, your video is upright. Thank you, Melinda. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn technology. That's how old you are. You see you got the gray hairs. That's when technology is whooping your ass. <laughs> Just kicking your ass. <laughs> I 
I was on the I was on a roll. I don't even know what I was talking about, but god damn it. Oh, come on, Trump. Well, no, it's about Fox News. I love Fox News, like I said. Cause, oh, love you too, Melinda. Thank you. But Fox News, man. You watch Fox News, like I said, it's better than it's better than any kind of comic book. If you watch read comics book comic books when you were a kid, like I did, then you're gonna love Fox News because it's amazing. The only thing I'm waiting for is like Bill O'Reilly, you know what I mean, to put on a, a what do you call a, a cape and fly off this because the 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 narrative that they make is just not it's just not right. Brian Siegel, what's up man? I've been trying to get at you. <laughs> How you doing? Hey Brian, and uh, we'll talk later. I don't want to say exactly, but uh, uh, my heart goes out to you and your family. No joke, no joke. Chris, Christopher Muhammad, are you kidding me? Oh, what ring? What ring size? This is 64, brother. Let me show you what I'm smoking. This is Mark Twain, brother. Mark Twain today. We're going, we're going Mark Twain. I know it doesn't say that on the thing. It, it looks backwards the way I'm looking at it. It's looking like a mirror. But this is Mark Twain, brother. So, this is what I do. Hey, no problem, Brian. Seriously, nothing but love. I really do, uh, that hurt me to my heart, bro. That's one of my, that's one of my, uh, Marine brothers. Brian Siegel, very, very cool, brother. And, uh, so you guys know, I'm drinking my Mike's Hard Lemonade that I'm not getting paid to, uh, promote. But, uh, anyway. Daryl Coffee, you tease. <laughs> Oh, okay. I got Daryl. Okay. All right, Brian. Man, I give you a call, man. When I when I when I get off of this, if you got time, I, I know you're a busy man, man. Look, Daryl Coffee here. Let me tell you, the Canadians are in the hills. Daryl Coffee is literally he's like a white Canadian version of me. Literally, I've never. I mean, it was amazing. I was over there in Afghanistan. It was oh god, it had to be almost seven years ago, right? Something like that. Hey, hello. How you doing, Athena? How you doing? Thank you for coming out. But, uh, so it was like, what? Something like that. Anyway. Um, and Daryl, uh, I'm going to say this, Daryl. Daryl, he and I just, we, he was my brother, literally. And he was, he's like me, just old, gruff, you know, just hard ass, <laughs> not giving a fuck. And, and it was so cool for me to be, because the Canadians, whether you notice or not, everybody like, uh, you know, America's, I'm not saying we're not great. But the Canadians, they got some hardcore motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm telling you, they had me going, well, I guess I was just in the Marine Corps. Jesus Christ, these are some hardcore kids. And the thing that was really um, incredible about them is that they uh, were very smart. Very, I mean, they knew Ameri they knew world history. See, in America, we're, we're taught, America, we are the world. So what we need to know was American history. That's it. They were explaining to me shit. I would, I would be like, huh, huh? Um, Martin Luther King's a great American. Um, uh, Joe DiMaggio, he, he did some shit. Can, literally, make it look stupid. But who, what's up, hey, what's up, Chris? Oh, is that what you smoking? One inch? What, 70 inch ring? Try it out. Whoa, it's only an inch and it's 70, 70 inch ring. There's a dick joke there that I'm going to let go. <laughs> Chris, all right, I'm, I'm going to try that. EP, was it Grello? Whatever, Grello, all right. Claim is from a Grizz. <laughs> Vince, what's going on, Vince? Daniel Vitale. Oh, my God. Names are coming. Okay. Oh, I love you too, man. Daryl Coffey. You are the man, bro. Yeah, good to see you too, Vince. How long has it been, bro? You still out there doing that comedy thing, man? I hope so. But I'm, I'm, I get off topic. As you can see, this is what happens. If you guys don't know what clay time is, this is clay time. Normally, I do this by myself, or I call somebody and I call them to just talk shit. Seven inch long. Oh, seven. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say an inch, an inch. Of the Okay. All right. But uh, normally what I do is this. You know, I sit here and just talk shit. And uh, Daryl was a part of that in Afghanistan. Um, oh, my God. Michelin, I miss you, too. <laughs> yes, she was a part of it. And over in Afghanistan, pimping ain't easy, I guess. 
I wouldn't know, Dominic. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I know the dick joke wasn't for you. <laughs> you know what's sad? I, I wish I just had all y'all around me. And this technology bullshit is just, it's just, it's just hurting me. It's hurting me. It's hurting me. See, Daryl, what we need to do is get together, man. Seriously. I'm going to come to come to Canada land. And uh, we need to smoke and drink together. Like, But, you know, we never got a chance to drink over there in Afghanistan because you weren't allowed to have alcohol over there. But officially, we didn't drink over there. So we, we said when we got back here, we said we was going to drink. But we didn't, you weren't allowed to drink in that country because it was a dry country. Who's this? Oh, hey, what's up? How you doing, Diane? Good to see you. We miss you, too. I'm going to come back to New York. I'm Yeah, I, I was just in Connecticut. I was over there. I was, ate a shit turd on stage. On the stage. Yeah. It wasn't It wasn't even a stage. My boy Reggie hooked, hooked it up. Gave me, gave me some time, man. I'm, God bless him. Yeah, I know that'd be a party, man. The way we got it. Like I said, we got to do that. Thank you for the, for the little thumbs up that's going across the screen. It actually... Did you, you see that? It, it, it actually goes into my shirt. I'm wearing a shirt for the... But yeah, we need to do that, Daryl. Who here? Brandon. What's going on, Brandon? All good here. Yeah, I love you guys. You and Bob. Thank you, Diane, for all your support. You guys are literally like my biggest fans ever. <laughs> they have literally driven across the country to come see me. Do you believe that? I wouldn't come see me, okay, in another state. They've, like, been state to state to state to state, and we're going to go see Clay, goddammit. Really? I literally, I guess, they came to one of my shows. I didn't even, they didn't even let me do an hour. Normally, I do an hour. I did, like, like maybe 30 minutes for them because the, the show was, you know, cut short. Who's this, Clay? Do people know you were a beast in football and baseball? <laughs> Dude, I was I was okay. Dude, if I was a beast, I wouldn't be here right now with gray in the beard, broke as shit, smoking in the basement of the house that I paid rent on. Beast. <laughs> you heard me, dogs. But uh, okay, Brandon. Hey, what's up? What's going on, Rochester? Oh, what's up, Brandon? How you doing, Tony? What's going on? Clay's all right. Tony, you hilarious, man. I'm, I see all your videos. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yes, 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 Diane. Yeah, we're going to definitely... I got to come back. I'm going to be coming back. What's that, Brandon? What's that? Mima. What the fuck? I, you know I'm ignorant. I ain't Canadian. I'm not intelligent. Come on, man. Oh. <coughs> I can't talk. It, it spoke the shit at the same time. We still got... We got 12 people in here. Shit, I feel like I got to get up and like, you know, dance, to, to do some, you know, do something. Calvin Smith! Oh my god! Are you. Okay, alright, okay. Let me tell you who's in here. Vinny! Okay. Smoke much. Shut up! <laughs> Let me tell you who's in here, man. My old sergeant, when I was a little PFC piece of shit dumbass, uh, is in here, man. I mean, this dude was the coolest dude. Uh, I'm not gonna say this. He was the coolest white boy I've ever met in my life. At that point in my life, I, I was like, "This motherfucker's cooler than me." He was literally he was Eminem before he was Eminem. I mean, he was that cool. Fucking <laughs> Calvin Smith. Wow, I got on his last nerve. <laughs> Vinny, I can smoke, motherfucker. I'm trying to talk like you, this is what happens. Damn it. Hello, Miss Trinidad. How you doing, Vinny? Okay, dude. You have, you have me laughing at work. People are looking at me. <laughs> well, tell them to put me on. They're supposed to be looking at this shit. They're supposed to be watching. It ain't just supposed to be used to. Look, man, don't don't just have me to you. I'm for the world. <laughs> and December five, bro. December five. <laughs> ain't just for you. You can't hold me down. Don't hold me in this box right here. Don't hold me in this box. Not right there, baby. You can't hold me. I might just get up. I might just leave. You can't hold me. You can't hold me. You can't. You can't.
can't hold me. You see, you can't hold me. What the fuck was that? Who was that? Did you see the, the Negro, the bald-headed Negro come down from the, the heavens, it seemed like? He was good-looking, too. I don't know who the fuck he was. Uh, all right. You guys are making me sweat. I'm not supposed to be out here in my uh, Agent Orange. Have my Agent Orange acting up. Ugh. Ugh. You know, back in my day, which was like last week. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that. I don't even, it was it was about Trump and about the world. And, and family, let's do something. As you can see, there's so many different types of people that are on here, that have came on here, that came and left. We're family. Don't elect anyone um, who's going to keep us apart because we're all the same. That's all I'm saying is we're all the same. This message has been brought to you uh, by Gary Johnson. Because <laughs> fuck all of them besides him, seriously. If he gets over 15%, I'm voting for him. And honestly, I took a shit one day, and the shit actually, you know, you know, it burped a little bit. And I thought that, that made more sense than both sides. If I could elect my shit, I would. Because it's very intelligent. It came from me. It knew to come from me. So it's a that. It's intelligent. I don't. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just saying. Elect Clay Marcus. <laughs> you know what's sad? I should run. This is the only time in in, in in Americans' history when a dumbass like me. You know what I would say? Would they go? All right, Clay. Well, what? You know, I'd be in the debates, and you know, Trump going with his shit, and Hillary would go with his shit, and they'd say, "Well, Clay, what do you think about the matter?" And I'd say. You know, I'd look all spiffy, get, you know, whatever. And I'd say, uh, yeah, uh, I don't believe in anything that they're saying. How about that? That's all I'm going to say on anything that they say. Well, we blah, 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 blah. What do you think, Clay? I'm not that. I'm not that. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not that either. I'm not, no, I'm not that. That's all I need to say. I, I, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy talk. But that was about it. I got to get to my videos, man, before I get to have to go to bed. I go to bed pretty early. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for, for list, letting me go ahead and do this. My, You know, people around my neighborhood must think I am fucking nuts. Because they, they just think I'm just the uh, bald head black dude who just sits in this back basement. and just, <clears throat> that's all I do. You know, come out here and just smoke and watch TV and watch y'all on YouTube doing some stupid shit. Now I'm a part of it. Now you believe that? This is what you did to me. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, Brandon. Hey. Come in. You've got and I'll show you everything you need to know.